Call it Paul Bubba Sparks. Booty, yeah, booty, booty, rock and never wear. Booty, 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 rock and never wear. Booty, booty, booty. What's up YouTube, it's Desi and I'm back with another video y'all. So in this video it's going to strictly talk about phlebotomy as far as for how to become a phlebotomist uh, with the certificate and also just will you like this field. Um, a lot of my videos have, a lot of my videos have been getting a lot of views with phlebotomy and medical assistance so I figured I would continue on the success. By the way, thank you so much you guys for supporting my channel. Um, we are actually at 1.118 subscribers and I'm really excited about that. I have a lot of giveaways planned, I just have to like put it all in place and when collaborating with people I have to work with people's schedules and also it's just all types of stuff that needs to be in place but I will be doing a free giveaway for you guys soon so just don't forget about that um so the overall question that many people want to know when it comes to phlebotomy is how long will it take to be certified how long would it take to have a certification when it comes to phlebotomy so this is the certification that I have as far as for mine this is pretty much on how that looks and um, I got it in the year of 2017 um, a couple of steps I took, um, I'll be sure to share that with you guys, but I'm going to just go ahead and keep it information on this first and then I'll base it off my experience. Um, so pretty much phlebotomy usually takes for, if you're trying to get a certification, it could usually take up to four to eight months. Um, my certification usually took over around like one month or some people usually have some classes. Some people offer classes where it's like three weeks or so. And that's pretty much what I had ended up getting. Um, they have a lot of ads and stuff like that on um, Craigslist, not only just Craigslist, it's uh, Indeed as well too, to try to reach out to some um, people to let you know about phlebotomy. Also some people who go to school for medical assistant, they'll usually get put on as far as for like, you know, other colleagues or other people that they have heard about with phlebotomy training. So there's plenty of resources out there as far as for that. Um, but for the average, it usually takes up to four to eight months to complete um, the requirements when it comes to uh, a phlebotomy certification. Um, now, however, you also want to make sure that you want to get your high school diploma. One thing I can always say about a high school diploma that always, um, you know, that always keep you on the safe side. They, at least they know that, that you completed the 12 years of school, not only just a high school diploma, a GED can always also help as well too. Um, for the most part, this right here is my externship uh, portfolio. Uh, <clears throat> professional portfolio so whenever I go on interviews I always keep all my good information into here um, I also have my uh, diploma in here as well too sometimes when you go on interviews you want to try to have those type of things in place because you never know if they try to ask you hey do you got a copy of your ID or do you have a copy of your diploma or anything like that you want to try to keep that type of stuff on you so um way in the back this is where I have my diploma and that always can keep you safe shout out to Robert E Lee you know the best high school out there, you feel me? But however, um, another good thing too with uh, becoming a phlebotomist, you want to make sure that you enroll into a phlebotomy training program. So the good thing about the, when I went to get my certificate for phlebotomy, um, it was, like I say, it was like at least a good three weeks or so. Um, we made sure that we were practicing on the dummy, so you would be able to, you know, practice on the dummies that have like the arms and whatnot they got fake blood in there you know that can pretty much show you whether you either went too deep with the veins who you know when you see that first flash you know you're doing really good um a good thing also too you get your experience with um capillaries as well too now with medical assistant when i went to medical assistant school we had plenty of experience with sticks so it's like you know that's mandatory at the end of the day you have to graduate with a certain amount of sticks and almost every day everybody was getting their finger pricked or we was either drawing blood from each other we even did some hand draws so you know those type of things come as well with that too you want to make sure you have the right training program and i would investigate the program before i sign up for it because many people sign up for a lot of programs and don't really get much out of it or they're not getting as much success so you want to make sure that you look up those type of things as well too um also so the last step is you want to become certified or become licensed at the end of the day once we got done taking our tests so every phlebotomy program or training program that you go to you will take a test whether it's a state test or a certificate test any type of thing and you also want to make sure you have that signature at the bottom so it won't seem as if like you know you just went to basically any old class um, most people when I usually try to like Say for instance, before I got onto my medical assistant job, when I was trying to get on with the phlebotomist job, I will also stay on there. I have a certificate. I'll take, you know, show, upload the files of my certificate because some people don't know the difference between a certificate and a certification. Most people with a certification for phlebotomy usually have degrees. Most people with a certificate for phlebotomy usually just went to a regular course and just got their credentials as far as for that. So that's how you do it. But if you're really trying to go real, real far with phlebotomy, where I want to take my NCC. <clears throat> Where I went to take my medical assistant test, which was NCCT, National Center of Competency Testing, they have on there where you can become a, a certified phlebotomist as well too. They have an exam test on there as well too. So you can always extend your way with it. Some people like to start off with a certificate and then move on to the certification. So that's how that goes. And the last step is pretty much make sure that you 
um, get employed. For the most part, I was able to get my experience with phlebotomy with the Plasma Center. Now, I love the people I worked with, but the actual work, it's a lot that you deal with. Like, I like being a phlebotomist because I love drawing blood and I just like, you know, calming people down. A lot of people are afraid of needles and I just feel like I have a way, a technique of like always just talking to them or try to think of like positive things to try to keep their mind off of it. But for the most part, I like it to be an organized place. If you're really trying to get your experience with phlebotomy, I would definitely say go out for a plasma center, but don't expect to stay there so long because most people get too comfortable there and that's just kind of like an in and out type of job. So you want to make sure that you pay attention to those type of things. And the last thing, you want to make sure that you maintain your certification. So to this day, even though I got my certificate two years ago, three years ago, um, I still like to make sure that people know that I had plenty of experience with phlebotomy. You know, I kind of already have it in my background. Most people don't too much care about the certification as, as much anymore because they train you on. So, um, you know, those are the type of things that you want to make sure that you know when it comes to becoming a phlebotomist. And it's not really as hard. Um, a couple of few steps to remember when becoming a phlebotomist, you want to have good eye detail. Always be observative. Observe the patient's arm. Observe for bruises. Observe for scars. Observe for certain areas you want to kind of like you know not bother with because when doing phlebotomy if you see somebody with a bruise right here you might want to go to either a different site area or use a different arm you also want to make sure that you're disciplined always be disciplined with it a lot of people can be too outrageous when it comes to drawing blood so you want to make sure you're disciplined within yourself not even just within yourself be disciplined with the patient as well too make sure that they're listening they know exactly what to do when you say don't move or anything like that make sure that they don't move you want to pay attention to those type of things um, another thing is coordination. So make sure you have all your equipment set up. One thing about me when I was working at the plasma center, most people would try to run way across the room to go get a gauze, run way across the room to go get a tube. Like you want to make sure you have everything set up, have your tourniquet ready, cotton balls, gauze, all those type of things ready so you won't have to just move around so, so much. Um, and also have ex excellent soft skills. So whenever dealing with the patient, you want to make sure that you're able to talk things out make sure you calm them down whenever they're just so hyperventilated about a lot of things and also just have this soft touch I always like to pull back easily when I'm you know taking blood or anything like that and then insert the needle gently and most times some people like to just stick in real deep if they see you have like a heavier set arm or whatnot I wouldn't say that it's something majorly on purpose but most people stick differently me personally I just like to be gentle I would want to stick somebody the way how I want to get stuck regardless of size color no matter what it is I just want to stick somebody the way how I want to get stuck so hopefully this video will be able to help you guys out make sure you comment below and let me know about your experience with phlebotomy and I hope and everybody stay safe during this coronavirus time y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe and y'all be great peace y'all